Innovation Superheroes. My name is Andrew, and welcome back to Contratech Solutions Online Superhero Academy. Our goal is to bring you a series of online demos, webinars, and all the technical know-hows about smarter industrial automation. In this episode of the Backoff TwinCAD programming series, I'll show you how to create PLC program variables, the roles and declaration, supported data types, and the places on where you can create it. Previously, you've learned how to create a standard PLC project on TwinCAT 3. This time, I will show you how to create PLC program variables. A program variable is used to store information or data that can be monitored or controlled in a PLC program. A variable can also be named or have an identifier to become easily understood by anyone who is reading the program. In short, a variable is a container that holds data and its purpose is to label and store data in a memory that will be used all throughout the PLC program. Some other terms for a variable are symbols, aliases, and tags, which are often used in SCADA environments. When programming in TwinCAT, you can use different data types or instances of function blocks. You can assign a data type to each identifier. The data type determines how much memory space is allocated and how these values are interpreted. TwinCAT supports all the data types described in the IEC 61131-3 standard, such as bool or bit, integer data types, real, long real, string data types, time data types, and much more. Here are some data types supported on TwinCAT. The first column contains the name of the data type. Next is the lower limit. This means that the minimum value that the data type can contain and the upper limit is the max value. The size determines the memory size occupied. And last is the prefix which are used on the variable identifier to easily describe the data type of each variable. So for example, I come across with a variable with a B prefix I would immediately know that the data type of that variable is boolean or bit. Arrays are also supported in TwinCAT 3. One, two, and three dimensional fields are supported as elementary data types. Arrays can be defined both in the declaration part of the POU and in the global variable list. In addition to standard data types, you can define your own data types such as structures, enumerations, references, and unions. These are created as data type objects, or DUT. A structure combines several variables with any data types into one logical unit. The variables declared within a structure are referred to as components. In TwinCAT, variables are labeled with an identifier. For example, a Boolean variable which stores 1, 0, or true-false data can be labeled with an identifier. This could be a word start, for example, or anything the programmer desires. And this start variable can be used on the program. Also, the number of views is unlimited. Identifiers should have a consistent prefix so that the object type is easy to recognize. Here are the different data types of the corresponding prefixes and the declaration examples. When declaring identifiers for the program variables, there are some basic rules to follow so that you'll avoid errors on your program. First rule is, an identifier must contain the following letters and numbers. 0 to 9 and A to Z. Second rule, TwinCAT is not case sensitive. Example, variable 1 with a capital V and variable 1 with a small letter V denotes the same variable. The third rule, an identifier should not begin with a number. 
it should always begin with a letter. Fourth rule, an identifier may not contain spaces, special characters, or hyphens. Fifth, the use of underscore is allowed. This means variable underscore AB and variable A underscore B is treated as two different variables. Next rule, the use of double underscore is not allowed. And the last one, there is no limit length of an identifier. The two main declaration types of variables are global and local. Global variables are accessible all throughout the PLC project, while local variables can be called from the POU where it is declared in. In TwinCat3 projects, variables can be declared in the following places. First, in the declaration part of the POU. So here in my project 1 PLC project, to go on the declaration area of the POU, just click on this POUS folder drop-down and we'll see a main PRG, which is the main program. Double click on it and the main program editor window will be open. As you can see, the editor window has two areas. This upper part here is where I can declare local variables that I can use inside the main program. By default, the keywords program main var and end var is already available for local variable declaration. Between the two keywords, variables can be declared. And the lower part of the window is where I can do my programming using any program language, whether it's ladder logic, structured text, FBD, CFC, or SFC. Second is the GVL or DUT editor. To be able to create global variables, first, I need to create a global variable list. Now, to do that, just right-click on the GVLs and select command add global variable list. Then enter a name. Usually we won't need to add another GVL list so I'll just name it GVL as well. After entering a name, click on open. TwinCat adds the GVL to the PLC project tree and opens it in the editor. Now you can define the global variables between the keywords var underscore global and end underscore var. So the two places on where you can declare variables are on the declaration part of the POU and on the GVL or DUT editor. The auto declare dialog can also be used to create variables. The auto declare dialog box opens automatically when an unknown identifier is entered or it can be opened by right clicking and selecting auto declare. Let's proceed now on how do we exactly create variables in the declaration editor. The declaration editor is used for the variable declarations in global variable list and in the declaration part of POUs. Special editors or dialogues are available for all other variants. And this is the syntax for declaring variables. The standard initialization value for all declarations is zero. In the declaration part, you can specify user-defined initialization values for each variable and each data type. The user-defined initialization starts with the assignment operator, uh, which is colon and equal sign, and consists of valid expressions in the programming language structured text. The initialization value is then defined with the aid of constants, other variables, or functions. In this example, the variable B button is initialized with a true value. It is also possible when declaring a variable to link the name with an address that must be explicitly specified. Allocation of variable is essential for assigning hardware inputs and outputs to symbolic address. 
A good example for this is uh, variables declared in the GVL for linking of IOS. Since I have added a 16-channel digital input and a 16-channel digital output, I can declare those variables here on the GVL, whether it's input or for output, just like this. programming, it is best you plan ahead on how you would name your variables, especially when you will be handling a big PLC project that involves countless variables. It should be easily recognized in your program in order for you to monitor, troubleshoot, or analyze the logics without any difficulty, and also for the other programmers that will read your program. Now that you know how to create a PLC program variable, what are the rules to follow? Where exactly can you declare them? We can now proceed on how to use it. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment below. On the next video, I'll show you how to link the program variable to the IO terminals. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about Contratech Smarter Automation, you can visit our website at www.contratech.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our social media accounts. See you on the next video!